This is John Clay, sports columnist for the Lexington Herald Leader. I'm here in Indianapolis for today's Midwest Region final game between Kentucky and Michigan. Here with my colleague Jerry Tipton of the Herald Leader. Jerry, first let's talk about Kentucky getting to this point. Three weeks ago, all seemed lost for this Kentucky team. What turned it around for them to get to this point? Well, it's amazing how far they've come from from three weeks ago, as you say, till now, because. Uh, only a couple of weeks ago, Dick Vitale was uh, labeling them a major disappointment. And now, all of a sudden, uh, I think they're favored in some quarters of uh, going to the Final Four. Uh, quite a turnaround. Uh, you know, I, I don't think even when, uh, when they weren't winning as often as people wanted, they weren't getting blown out. They were right there uh, playing the best teams in the country. So, it, to me, it's not that surprising that they would be in this position. And what about the game today with with Michigan playing Michigan, which Michigan, the regular season champs in the Big Ten, they beat Tennessee from the SEC the other night in the Sweet 16 round to get to this point. What, what do you see as the keys to the game today? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is the three-point shooting by Michigan. I think they're averaging over 10 threes a game in the tournament, and their opponents have only made eight in three games. So, you know, that's a big edge, and if that continues, that's a really big uh, mountain for Kentucky to climb. I think the other interesting thing is uh, Michigan plays defense without fouling. They're, they're, uh, they almost, they're in the top five or ten in the country in fewest fouls. And the other teams, like Tennessee, had been really going to the line in their late revival. And against Michigan, I think they only took like 14 free throws, something like that, about half of what they'd been averaging. And as we all know, Kentucky really lives on, at the free throw line. I, I, I agree. That's true. All that's true. And I think a big key for Kentucky today, especially with Willie Colley Stein, it looks like he's not going to be able to play, or if he is able to play, he's going to be very limited. I think Alex Poitras, obviously, he was a big factor down the stretch in the Louisville game, made a couple of big defensive plays. Uh, I think Poitras will be a big key in the game uh, today. And Marcus Lee, we, we talked about earlier off air, the Marcus Lee. He hasn't done much for Kentucky this season, but he's a big athletic guy. He could help Kentucky post defense down low without Willie. Now let's go to prediction time. Jerry, what's your prediction? How do you see this thing playing out today? Well, I think it's an interesting game. Uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a game that it's difficult to predict because I think both teams uh, have their ups and downs, especially Kentucky. We're all well, well, well aware of that. And against Tennessee, uh, Michigan had the same sort of thing, up 15 and cruising, and then all of a sudden it comes down to a last-second shot. So it's difficult to, uh, to know with any certainty what's going to happen, but uh, I picked Kentucky to begin the tournament to win this region. Uh, I feel very smart right now, and uh, so I'm going to stick with that and, and pick Kentucky. I think it's going to be a really tough game for Kentucky. I think Michigan, the fact that they played in such a tough conference, the way they play with John Beeline, the way they spread the floor, and as you talked about with the three-point shooting, I think without Willie Cauley-Stein, it's going to be tough. If Willie was playing and Willie was full strength there to protect the rim, I would pick Kentucky. But without Willie, I think it's going to be tough, and I think Michigan may pull it out in a close one. So I'm, I'm, I hope I'm wrong because I'd like right. to go to the Final Four, but I hope the, but it looks to me like I would pick the Wolverines in a – in a close game. Well, this has been John Clay from the Herald Leader and Jerry Tipton from the Herald Leader here in Indianapolis for today's game between Midwest final between Kentucky and Michigan. Be sure to check out the coverage on Kentucky.com.